Today we are going to compare the Profoto Click and the Angler Fastbox 24. All right, as a pro photo shooter and click owner and user, uh, gotta be honest with you guys, I own the product. I use the product. I love the product. Uh, for me, it was one of the first fast box um, setups uh, or octobox setups that you could just quickly open, click together, and you're in action. Slide your A, uh, A1 or A2 in there, and you've now got an octobox in the field that can be handheld, put on a light stand, so it would go on just like this. Lock, loaded, you're good to go. But the internet had something to say about that because at $299 for the Profoto Click, there are alternatives out there. Some people making the argument that Profoto just copied someone else's design, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So I wanted to see, and I went out and bought, I own this, uh, I own the Angler 24, I went out and purchased it, uh, and I wanted to see, is there a noticeable difference? Because at $299 compared to $129, with a current $30 rebate, bringing it down to $99, it's three times the price, uh, is the angler going to deliver the same results? Are there any differences? And I really didn't know what to expect when I purchased the product. So I was interested to see uh, what that difference was because I wanna give you guys honest feedback, especially as a pro photo user. Now, 24 inch Octobox, love using this on a wedding day, portrait sessions, uh, super easy, compact, and obviously quick setup and breakdown. Uh, if you've had some of the other pro photo soft boxes in your life, if you're in a studio, sure, you set it up, you leave it there, you don't worry about it. But as a wedding portrait photographer on the go, not fun. Uh, and so this was super exciting when they came out with the click. Now, uh, right now, this is a 24 inch uh, Okta. And I think just before uh, I started filming this, they released the 28 inch, which Angler has both a 24 and a 28 inch, both made the same way. So let's open this up. Now, one of the things uh, I will tell you, I'll kind of walk you through this as best I can, right? I can't sit here and tell you scientifically what materials it's made out of. Uh, the case is much more durable canvas uh, than Profoto, but at the end of the day, it's a case, who cares? The grid came with this uh, version uh, of it. I don't know if it was a special they were running or what, uh, what have you. This is typically extra, but whether you buy it or not, uh, the grid came with it. Um, and what this grid is gonna do when you put it on your softbox, it's gonna focus that light a little bit more, control fall off on the ground a little bit more. Some people might argue it might make it a little bit softer or controlled softness, but really this is going to control and focus that light a little bit more, just like you would expect a grid to do. Now, worth noting, the Profoto Click does not have the ability to even add a grid. There's no Velcro around here. Uh, so right out of the gate, uh, the Angler has that Velcro that's a nice feature. I was impressed by it. So also they give you a Velcro around here to control this when you put it away, right? So you're not kind of like, it's not getting too wide on you. So it'll keep it there. Uh, this way, if you stick it in the bag, either way, it'll work. Again, little creature comforts, uh, but at $99 compared to three times the price, that's already a leg up. So now we get kind of into the structure of it. Uh, the handle, uh, I will tell you the handles are different. Uh, the Profoto has texture on that handle. Uh, the Angler does not. It's just kind of uh, what you would expect, like just PVC uh, style plastic. But they're both made out of PVC plastic. So there's no construction quality difference. Uh, if anything, the Angler feels a little bit larger. So for my hands, I've got bare paws. Uh, this feels a little bit better in my hand. The locking mechanism, uh, exactly the same. The release and tilting mechanism. Uh, to tilt this, and I'll show you how this works, exactly the same. So the locking mechanism is pretty simple. You put it on any light stand, boom, twist the handle, it's locked on. Uh, the tilt is just a trigger device here, and this is allowing you to kind of uh, tilt that light up and down. No screws, so super easy to use uh, from that perspective. Again, both lights identical. I would say the handles might be made the same factory uh, because they are way too close to the same. Uh, and then when you come to the front, the grid here, uh, it's probably gonna be hard to see for you, but there's Velcro here uh, all around the side, which is nice because it's going to allow you to do things like this, which is add a grid, and it makes the light more versatile uh, for you in the field. So I hate to say it, but this is a better design uh, for you because it's gonna give you a lot more versatility uh, while you're in the field. So, you know, for those photographers who are shooting indoors or shooting bridal portraits, this is a great size softbox. Uh, the depth of it, 
Also, I like that it's a deeper soft box. I don't have the exact measurements, but iron it up. It looks like it's about four inches uh, deeper. And then when you, uh, like this to show you how easy it is, like even when you're in the field to change gels, I just drop that down, grab a gel, right? Maybe I want to do a CTO or CTB, right? I mean, all sorts of options for you. And I do like this. This is pretty cool on their gels. Look how they're labeled. Super easy uh, to find what you're looking for. If you've got gel packs, you know what I'm talking about. And so these are a lot less expensive. Sometimes they're harder to find. Put this in here. Now the gel snaps in and without really doing much work, boom, ready to go. Now, feeling the actual material here, because this is what's gonna have to hold up. This material, um, cause, right, because you're gonna be kind of breaking it down, opening it, closing it, um, and doing that. Magnets are important too, right? If the magnets are not uh, going to work here, is there what's gonna hold that light in? So the angler, oh, significant difference. So from that perspective, Pro Photos, Pro Photos magnets are much, there's either more magnets or they're stronger magnets uh, because that, uh, while I don't think it's going to fall out of the angler, uh, it is, I mean, I've got a pull on it, uh, but it's not as sturdy as the Pro Photo. Worth three times the price? I don't know, you've got to decide on that. Let me feel the uh, material here. So in feeling the material, um, this is, it's damn close to the same thickness. I don't think there's any advantage to either of these as it pertains to durability. But as I'm working with these, I'm noticing something. The Angler is a good four inches deeper. Now forget quality for a second uh, of the two. So both are gonna last you, both are gonna hold, hold up for sure. Um, but this is deeper. And so what ends up happening with when that softbox is a little bit deeper, it's not true parabolic, but it does start changing the way that light comes out, the, out of that uh, versus a more shallow softbox. Now, if you've got a bunch of softboxes and light modifiers, you probably, like me, uh, I know you can't see around my studio, uh, I've got a plethora of depth of softboxes. So there is value to a shorter softbox uh, or a deeper one. Uh, and so from this one, this is actually deeper and I think I'm gonna like it a little bit more from that perspective. Something worth noting on both units, they do have the ability to add gels, albeit, as you could guess, the Angler gels are a lot less expensive. Let me show you how that might work. So the Angler has a uh, color correction kit Okay, where it's gonna do corrective gel, CTB, CTO, full, half. Uh, they have a blank gel frame, so if you wanna put color gels in there. Now, something worth noting, by the way, Profoto has a gel kit as well that fits inside almost the same identical way. Now, what you would do here is you would take this gel, right, put it on the inside. It's magnetic, so that hangs on. And then the light's gonna go here. So now I'm firing CTB uh, or CTO corrective gels, right? So that's good for gel work, corrective gel work. And if you want creatives, uh, this gives you a blank. I will say the win here uh, goes to Angler. Uh, sorry, I'm looking, they give you a blank as well. Yeah, that's what I was trying to find. So let's say you did wanna put like a red gel or something like that in your own color and you buy some uh, uh, gel paper, right? Uh, that's how you would use it. Again, Profoto has the exact same setup uh, for you for some of your more creative gels. So this price point is the big difference. And I gotta tell you, there is no discernible difference in quality between the two. So if you're a pro photo shooter, you're looking to save some money and get a good quality product, uh, the Angler 24 and Angler 28 uh, uh, fast boxes, definitely worth the investment. And like I said, they've got a special going right now uh, online. I don't know how long that's gonna last, but they're $99. So you can get three of these for the price of one. So what I love to do with all this stuff is it's one thing to review it, sit here in my studio, talk about the way it feels, the way it looks, the way it smells, the way it sounds, it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, it's all about results. So let's go shoot with it and make some great images.